How do you distribute the load evenly in stateful systems? In the last video, we saw one such approach where we used the modulo hashing. The approach works perfectly fine until we decide to add or remove the instances. Whenever we want to add the instances, a majority portion of the keys needs to be rehashed. In this video, we are going to look at a better approach called consistent hashing. I am Mohit Yadav and I teach in Scalar Academy. Before going ahead, I would like to request everyone to please like, comment and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel to get frequent updates about our new upcoming videos. Now coming back to the topic, let's have a look at the problem statement again. Our problem statement is that we need a distribution scheme that does not directly depend on the number of servers so that whenever we want to add or remove servers, the number of keys that needs to be relocated is minimized. To understand the solution, let's visualize a circle with marking 0 to a very large number, let's say 10 to the power 18. And we'll call this particular ring or a circle as a consistent hashing ring. Then we'll take two hash functions, which will basically generate keys in the range of 0 to 10 to the power 18. Let's call them HS and HC. The HS hash function will be used to mark servers on the consistent hashing ring. The HC hash function can be used to mark partition key or the client ID on the same consistent hashing ring. Now to find out on which server a given key needs to be routed, we need to locate the key on the circle and then move in the counterclockwise direction to find the server. Now there are two main problems with this approach. First, uneven distribution. The server which is located at the max distance in the counterclockwise direction will get the most number of requests. And the second one is the weighted routing where we might have a scenario where one server has twice the number of resources as the other servers. In that case, we need to ensure that the servers with more resources gets more number of requests. To solve for the other problems, what can we do? We can assign many labels to each server. So now instead of having labels A, B, C for three servers that we had, we'll have server labels between A0 to A9, B0 to B9, C0 to C9, all marked in the same circle. Now if server B is twice as powerful as the rest, it could be assigned twice as many labels. As a result, it would end up holding twice as many objects on an average basis. This way, we can be sure that the keys are evenly distributed and server with better resources are holding more amount of data. Now, let's see what happens when we remove one server. Imagine that server C is now removed. To account for this, we must remove all the labels between C0 to C9 from the circle that we had, uh, the circle which was basically representing the consistent hashing ring. This results in the object keys reassigned to server A and B. Whatever keys were residing in server C will now be reassigned to server B and C respectively. But what happens with the other object keys? The ones that originally belong to A and B? The answer is nothing, absolutely nothing. And that's the beauty of consistent hashing. The absence of CX label does not affect the keys in any way. So removing a server results in the object keys being randomly assigned to the rest of the server, leaving all the other keys untouched. And if you notice closely, all servers are still holding one by n amount of data. Earlier also they were holding one by n. When they had three servers, they were holding the one third of the data. And then when we removed one server, every server is holding 50% of the data. Now, consistent hashing is used to uniformly distribute the data in stateless systems like Kafka, Cassandra, etc. It's also a very powerful tool that finds its application in the stateful uh, servers as well as it is a way of implementing sticky sessions in the load balancer. I hope you got an idea about what consistent hashing is, how it works. And if you like this particular video, like the content, please don't forget to comment and let us know. Please like and share this video as much as you can. Subscribe to our channel to get notified about our new upcoming videos. 
If you want a video on a specific topic, please leave the topic name in the comment section below. Thank you.